Hi everyone, welcome to remote lesson number one, Ecology Key Terms. Um, before you watch this video, please make sure that you've completed the Ecology Definitions activity. Um, it's on the remote lesson folder on the VLE if you're not sure. So what is ecology? Now ecology is basically um, the study of relationships of organisms to one another and their physical surroundings. So um, it's the biological branch that studies ecosystems. In your activity, you are asked to identify which definitions match to each of these key terms. So we're going to run through these together and then we'll look at the example and um, write down some linking examples from the next slide. Okay, so uh, as we said already, ecology is the study of relationships of organisms to one another and their physical surroundings. So how do they interact with the biotic, the living factors of an ecosystem and also the uh, non-living, the abiotic factors? Um, so, for example, how would a bee interact with um, the plant life uh, and how is that also impacted by things like the wind speed and stuff like that? Ecosystems, so these are basically all of the biotic, so the living factors and also the abiotic, the non-living factors within an environment. Uh, the community, so community is often confused with population, we'll come to population in a bit, uh, but community is basically all of the organisms of all of the different species that live in a particular area. A niche is the role of an organism within its environment, so that's basically um, where it lives, what it eats, and this includes both the living and also the non-living factors, so the biotic and abiotic factors. A habitat, so this is a place where an organism lives. Biotic factors, as we said already, so these are living factors. So a good example of this would be something like competition. Uh, maybe competition for food or mates or light, if it's plants, for example. Intraspecific competition, so competition um, between organisms of the same species. Okay, so these, if this would be, for example, mate competition um, where Two individuals are competing to mate um, with, this, with the same individual of the same species. Predation, so this is a really good example of a biotic factor. And abiotic factors, as we said already, so these are non-living, things like pH or sunlight. Uh, Interspecific competition, so competition between organisms of different species. So this would, for example, if we take the uh, example of the red and the grey squirrel, um, they both compete for the same niche, so they have the same role in their eco ecosystem, they eat the same food, they live in the same area, um, so that would be interspecific competition. And then finally, population, so this, just remember that this is a group of organisms of the same species, okay, whereas community is a group of organisms of different species, okay. So let's link that in with uh, this image that was in your activity. Uh, so first of all, uh, ecology, if we were to go to this area here, for example, um, and carry out an investigation to look at how the biotic and abiotic factors interacted uh, within this ecosystem, that would be us carrying out an ecological study. Uh, the ecosystem is everything, so the living and the non-living factors within this area. The community, so this is all of the organisms of all of the different species. So the birds, the trees, uh, everything you can see there and also things that you can't see. So things like bacteria, fungi and uh, microorganisms are also part of that community. Um, and again, the community is just the, the living organisms. Uh, the niche, so the role of an organism within its environment. So for example, these bees, um, one of their roles is uh, pollinators. So they pollinate the trees within this environment. Um, it would also include how, um, you know, where they live and how they're influenced by things like abiotic factors. Habitat, so where these organisms live. So, uh, for example, uh, the fish here lives within this aquatic ecosystem. Uh, biotic, so a good example of this, as we said earlier, was things like predation, so living factors. So, for example, within this aquatic ecosystem, we might have a bigger fish here that predates and eats that smaller fish. Okay, that would be a biotic factor. Intraspecific competition, so competition of organisms within the same species. So, for example, um, these goats are of the same species and their location in the same field, they're probably competing for the same food. Um, abiotic factors, so things like the pH of the water here 
would influence that aquatic ecosystem. Um, the light available to this ecosystem here would be another example of an abiotic factor. Interspecific competition, so competition between organisms of um, a different species. So a good example is actually to take the plant life. So if we look at this area here, there's lots of different plants within this area and they will be competing for things like uh, nitrates and other inorganic ions in the soil and um, light and things like that. A population, so a group of organisms of the same species. So uh, these bees here, these are um, a population of bees because they're all the same species and they live in the same area. Okay, thank you.